Hi everyone, today I'm going to be talking to you about Hancock Whitney Bank and four ways that you can close your account. So first, what might be some reasons that you'd want to close your account? Well, there could be many reasons. Some of these could include fees that the bank is charging are too high, they require a certain minimum balance, or you've moved to a new part of the country where this bank is simply no longer available to you. Whatever your reason is for wanting to close your Hancock Whitney Bank account, I'm going to walk you through the different ways that you can do that now. So before you close your account, you'll want to make sure that all of the funds are taken out of the account and that no automatic payments are scheduled to come out. Also, if you have any direct deposits, make sure that they're no longer set to be deposited into this account. Once these are all taken care of, you'll be ready to close your account. Now for a couple of these options, you will need to access the Hancock Whitney website as you can see, I'm already on this website and the URL is located at the top of the screen. It's HancockWhitney.com. So the first way to close your account is going to be by calling the bank and closing your account over the phone. The easiest phone number to find is going to be the customer service phone number that's located on the back of your debit card. So you can call this number and if the first person that you speak to is not someone who can close an account, they should be able to transfer you to the correct department from there. When you call, they may require verification in writing before they will close your account, but closing it over the phone is usually an option. The second way to close your account is going to be by mailing Hancock Whitney a letter. Now this option will be the least recommended one just because when you mail the letter, you won't know for sure if the correct department received the letter. This is also the slowest and most inefficient option. However, it is still an option if you prefer it, and if you do choose this way, you can usually find the mailing address on the Hancock Whitney website, but just know that that can sometimes be a little bit difficult to find, so if you're having some trouble, you can also try doing a Google search to find the mailing address. And also, if you happen to know of another way to find the mailing address, be sure to leave a comment and let me know. The third way to close your account is going to be by stopping by a physical Hancock Whitney branch and closing it in person. Now, some banks only have a few branches, but you can find a branch closest to your location on the website. To do this, you're gonna click on the menu button that's located on the top right corner of the screen. And then under the contact us menu or button, you'll click the little plus, and then that'll give you a drop down where you can click on locate ATM slash branch. So you'll click on that, and then that'll bring you to this page here where you can enter in your zip code, your state, or your city. Now I would unselect ATM and Business Financial Center and only have Financial Center selected and then click Submit. So that way you, the results that it gives you are only physical branches that you can walk in and actually speak with someone. When you go to the branch, make sure to take some kind of identification with you such as a driver's license or another form of government ID. The fourth way that you can close your account is by logging into your Hancock Whitney online banking account and making an electronic request. So I'm going to go back to the main screen and start from there. So to log in, you're going to go back to that menu button at the top right corner and at the, the very last options at the bottom say open an account or log into account. So you'll click on the log into account on the right side. You select the type of account that you're looking for, so it's going to be personal online banking, and then you can enter your username, click view your account, and then enter your password. Once you're logged in, you can look for the option to close your account. Sometimes this means just sending an email to Hancock Whitney Bank, or it could be filling out an online form. So those are the ways that you can close your account. If you happen to know of a different way to close a bank account at Hancock Whitney, be sure to leave a comment and let us know. And also, if you're looking for a new bank, be sure to check out the video description for more information on banking.